Ladies and gentlemen, upon assumption of office in January 2023, the Commandant Air Vice Marshal P.O. Jemitola, while commending his predecessor, Air Vice Marshal M.A. Yakubu, said, and I quote, governance is a continuum. In other words, this means that he will maintain the award ceremony and miss other laudable initiatives of his predecessor. I've been able to take a look at the curriculum that the school is offering for aerospace students and as we know, or to the best of my knowledge, AFIT is the only aerospace uh, university or the, the university that offers aerospace in West Africa. And this allows students to be able to get acquainted with the course and also meet industry required standards. Today is very significant for you who are fortunate to have been offered admission into this institution. The Air Force Institute of Technology occupies a very unique position in Nigeria as the only hybrid higher institution offering a blend of university, polytechnic and military programs under the supervision of the National University Com Commission, the National Board for Technical Education and Headquarters Nigerian Air Force. As we conduct your joint matriculation into the Institute today, I remind you that you are fortunate to be in a place where the emphasis is on research and technical training. Of great import is the fact that you have been admitted into an institution that is not disrupted by strikes or industrial actions. You graduate when due, as long as you meet the academic and character requirements for the award of your certificate. Remember that certificates are awarded based on learning and character. Therefore, we must find a balance between your academic, social, and emotional lives in order not to lose sight of your goal. On our part, the Institute will continue to focus on a pursuit of excellence in teaching, research, service to society, well-being of staff and students. As the Commandant earlier affirmed, the Institute is the premier hybrid institute in Nigeria, concurrently running both polytechnic and university systems. This makes you the students very unique in your training. You are therefore expected to be better than students from other contemporary universities who do not have the benefit of your theoretical and practical training. To ensure that you derive the maximum benefits of your being here, the Institute has put down enormous resources to make your stay in the Institute very rewarding, both in terms of academics and recreation. I therefore enjoy you all to remember the major reasons of being here, which are to read, study, make good grades, and be good ambassadors of your homes, your schools, and your nation. While I urge you not to lose sight of your academics, I am also encouraging you to have an active social life with your fellow students. It is a university befitting of such as this that you form lifelong relationships that will impact positively in the years to come.